Well, good afternoon again. I don't know what the weather's doing you. It's a good, really, today, Tuesday, but but there we are. Hope you're all okay. Staying safe. Haven't got much news, really, not to uh, keep going a bit the best we can, but I hope you're all all right. And um, stay safe, that's all I can say. And I suppose another week or so, and most of the holiday makers will be gone back. And then we're settled down then to a bit quieter life for winter, won't us? Now, I got One Year Day by Herbert Lean. And um, this one's about jumble sales, sorry. Have you ever noticed when people start coosing, they go from one thing to another like a bee buzzing on a summer day? I don't know what jumble sales said Taylor. You to buy what you don't want because somebody else to want it. Well, I'd call it a very good way to make money, says Mother. Besides, you'd only give only give things you don't want. Yes, said Richard Henry, but you aren't allowed to try things on. What about Boy Willie at the last jumble sale? He bought a coat, bought a suit, gave half a crown for her, and when he put it on, it was so big that every time he turned round, the old suit would stop still. First time I'd ever nod, he took in, remarked Feather. No, he wasn't. I didn't know. The woman on the stall was putting the taggins in the coat pocket, and then she sold the suit. She never found out where she put the money. I'll tell you a good one, said Mother. Now, Mrs. Maroon, nicknamed after her coat, had a bright red coat, as everybody did know. Worn everywhere for years, she did, and when she was coming down the road, you always nod who twas. In the end, she got tired of this coat and gave it to the jumble sale. A woman who'd just come live here bought the coat. She used to go in the pub side door every night, just it was getting dim, and had this red coat on. Now, Miss, Mor Miss Maroon was converted up to the little chapel, and everybody thought she was on going visiting. Two faces said some. Ought to be a sham, said others. I see her with my own eye, said another. She only had one eye, but she could see more than most with two. I suppose she'd be wearing that coat still if she didn't put out in, in the line to dry and the donkey ate part of them. I was up the last jumble sale church, said Uncle Matty. Things was a bit slow first going off. Nobody was buying nothing when in comes the church warden and asked how they were getting on. Oh, I'm told nothing, was the answer. You must make them buy. Put more life into it. Let's see. I'll show you. So we got so he got behind one of the stalls and started shouting and making fun. One long for they was crowds round the stall, everybody laughing and buying something. He sold some curtains that had been left over from the last sale. Said you could see out through them, but the neighbours couldn't see in. He got he couldn't serve quick enough, so he took off his coat and shouted louder. When everything was sold on his stall, he turned round to put on his coat and said, That's the way to do it. Had nobody seen his coat. He had sold that too and never seen him again from that day to this. At the same time, a man was raffling three fowls and wanted me to have a chance. I didn't want to, so I said, I don't have no money. I only want one more chance. Shall I put your name near me, whispered. Oh, to get rid of him, I said, yes. Well, I didn't see him for weeks, and when I did, I asked who had the fowls. My missus. She was very lucky. She had the first one and the second. I thought you said there were three, says I. Who had the third? Oh, my little maid. Wasn't she lucky? Let's see, said I. Did you have my shilling? Did he? No, was the reply. So I was lucky too. So long. Second hand isn't much good. Tis better to have new, even if you've got pay on installments, says mother. Ain't going to be no installments in this house, said Feather. A man walked into a shop and said, I am come to pay the last installment on a baby's pram. I suppose the baby can walk off now, said the shopkeeper as he was writing out the receipt. Yes, replied the customer. I'm the baby the pram was bought for. Poke up the fire, Feather, and put the kettle on, shed a mother with her head in the cupboard. Thank you very much.